All right, so uh, here is a copy of Morisi, and so I have it set up for a three-player game. The setup is a little different. Uh, the map is kind of essentially created randomly to an extent, uh, but the amount of goods that go on the tiles uh, is determined based on the player count. So if you were going to play a three-player game, this could be an example of a setup that you would have. Each player gets a couple of tokens. Number one, you get your pawn that you place around on the uh, board there. You get two different size houses, like you, like you might see in a Catan or something like that. Um, and then there's these little cubes. All of these different objects here represent uh, paths or connections that you've made. Uh, this represents one connection between... Um, a connection from one city to another city. This would be represent a connection from one city branching out to two cities. This would be to three cities. If I had both of these on a tile, it means that the city, the tile that they're on is connected to five other cities. Um, and that's kind of what you're trying to do here. You're trying to connect trading routes between cities. And you have these little um, sticks here that represent your trading paths out there. Uh, so you can see there are different colored tiles and they have different colored, uh, cubes on them. And this just represents, I guess, in the game knowledge for building paths or something or being able to work in that kind of field. I really don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, so you pick a place to start. So if I was, you know, playing a three player game, um, I should mention, so the gray tiles here. Uh, that look like this are tiles that are cities and so there's no goods on them or cubes on them I guess I would say um, and so when you place your little token down you choose where you want it to be and you start at that location and you pick up a colored resource so if I for example if I went here on the orange tile, I would be able to pick up an orange uh, token. And then there's a little player screen, which I don't have over here, that you would put this behind so people can't see which colors you have. Um, so you always have to move. And then after you move, you could build uh, paths. But I don't have enough knowledge to build the path I want to build or essentially enough cubes to do that. Uh, so then the next player would go and let's say that was brown. And let's say brown just went over here on the blue tile, then brown would take a blue cube and put that behind their, uh, you know, whatever, the shield. And then gray could go, and maybe gray goes over here on this blue spot, and it takes a blue cube, and then it would go back to orange. So if I wanted to, I could move to this orange spot here, giving me an orange cube, and I actually could now build a path. So when you build a path uh, between cities, it has to either start in a city and branch out, and it can't stop until it is either meets another city or connects to another established path. So if I was to start building in this city here, this gray uh, city, let me get a better angle. All right, so if I was going to be building out of this city here um, and I wanted to build into a surrounding territory, I would have to have the color I want to build into. So I could build from here to green if I had a green cube, which I don't. I could build from here to here with an orange cube, which I do have. And I could build from here to here for an orange cube, which I have, or here to here uh, with a red cube, which I don't have. So I have two orange cubes. Now, um, I can't... I wouldn't be able to go this way, uh, ultimately, just because I don't have enough resources to get to where I'm going. And you'll see why in a moment. So if I was building from here out into orange, that would cost me an orange cube. So I have two of them, so I would get one and it'd be out of the game. And then I could build from this city out into the orange area. That would cost me an orange cube to do that. And now I have created a connecting path from this city to this city, as well as from this city to this city. So uh, what I would do is I would put these little markers of my color on here. 
So this shows that this city is connected to one other city because the little cube means one. And as you can see, it is. And this city here is connected to one other city. And then that would be the end of my turn. And then it would be the next person's turn, which would be uh, brown. So let's see, brown had gotten a blue color. Uh, let's see. So where might it go? Uh, blue, 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 orange, yellow, mm, yellow, blue, yellow. All right, so let's say brown goes here and he takes this cube. Uh, gray, I don't know, goes there for blue. White now moves to, let's say, red. And then let's say uh, brown goes to this yellow spot here. Yellow, blue, yellow, we'll do one more. Uh, so then let's say blue goes here for another blue cube. White goes down here for a green cube. And brown goes back here for a yellow cube. All right, so now brown has these four cubes and it could build a connection between some cities. It could build. All right, from here, it could build to the yellow area. That costs it a yellow cube. Then it could build to the blue area. That costs it a blue cube. And it could build to the yellow area. Costs it a yellow cube. And then from this city out or from this city out, um, it could build, let's just say it goes here, to this yellow spot. That costs it a yellow cube. All right, now, this city is connected to one other city, so it gets a brown thing along the brown trail, one other city with, with the brown color. And then this one's connected also over there. Uh, let's see, could, I'm curious, could gray connect blue? Gray could connect, gray has three. All right, so that's brown's turn. So now it's blue's turn. Uh, let's say blue is going to, or not blue, uh, gray is going to go to, let's just say it goes up down to yellow. All right, so it has three blues and some yellow. Gray could spend a blue cube to go from gray to blue, and it could spend another blue cube to go from gray to blue, and now it has connected this city in that city, they're connected. They're each connected to one city based on the gray path. Could it go out anywhere else? It has yellow, yellow, or another blue, blue, yellow. We need another yellow. All right, well, uh, I know what I'm going to have him do, I think. All right, so it uh, goes back to the white player. Uh, so white has a red and a green. What do I want to do? Red, green, red. All right, so white could go here to red, and then now it ha could go build from gray to red. Uh, yes, gray to red there. Gray to green there, so that's my red and green, and then from green to red, going out of here into there, it costs a red cube. And now this city here is connected to one, two cities, so that's going to get a second cube or the small house. And this now has one connection, so it's gonna get one white connection there. These have been spent. Now, it's Brown's turn. Brown, if it goes here to white, could take this cube and then build right away. It could build from this gray city here to this white territory there. And so now that's going to connect the city to one, two, two uh, towns. So it could get a little small town there. This is now connected to one, two towns. So this cube can come away and put on another small city. Over here, same thing, it connects and then branches into another one.
And so this is what you're doing. You're just connecting these pathways. And so for example, if brown branched off of here, let's say spent a red and then a red to build out of here. Well, then now this city would be connected to one, two, three um, cities and you would upgrade the house from a small one to a big one for three and you can keep branching out um, or you could just start off a new path it doesn't have to connect from here like on another turn it could go from gray to orange and then orange to this gray city and have a completely separate path somewhere and so you're going to keep doing this now you can't um, spend one resource to build like white couldn't build here off the same direction as brown for the same for a single resource if you want to have a parallel path crossing uh, a territory you need to spend two um, cubes of the color and if there's already two here and you want a third player wanted to put down their color in this way then you would need three uh, cubes to lay down a third road and so you're going off and you're creating these different pathways just connecting the cities so what's going to happen eventually is um, either all of the co one color is going to be off of the board and that's going to trigger the end of the game so all the orange cubes might be gone from the board and when that happens and they've all been removed from the board uh, that'll trigger the end of the game and you'll uh, do scoring or if some person gets all of their little houses and cubes played out on the board, the game ends automatically and that person wins. So it ends one of two ways. Either you get all your little path tokens out there onto the board, all these things are out there, and you win automatically, or a color has been completely uh, removed from the board and then you trigger scoring. And then scoring is kind of a, it reads weird in the rules, but essentially for each city you have uh, buildings on, you're going to get four points. So if I had, by the end of the game, if I had six white buildings, if I was white, and I had six white buildings on, or buildings, white buildings on six different gray tiles, it'd be six times four, which is 24, that'd be 24 points. And then the other thing you're going to do is find out which city has the most, which three cities have the most buildings or tokens on them as far as either the houses or the little cubes um, and the three that have the most on them it, there's a special scoring for that you essentially get your uh, it's it's just a point calculation based on what you have on there um, and then you would add that to your score so you would find which three gray cities have the most buildings on them with all players combined so the three mo busiest uh, gray tiles so you do the special scoring for that, and then you um, and then you also count how many different gray tiles you have buildings on altogether, uh, times that number by four, and that would be the final score. So whoever has the highest score would win uh, the game. It's essentially how it works. Um, hopefully, you get an idea as you saw me just building the pathways between different territories, between different cities, you cannot partially build. I couldn't build, um, you know, in the future, Brown could not build from white to white and then just leave it there. And then on another turn later on, build from here to here. You can't do that. You have to connect either a city to a city or a city to a pathway um, for you to build. Uh, anytime you go onto a color tile, like I said, you get to pick up one cube. Uh, if you go onto the gray tiles, you don't get to pick anything up, but you may have it where, you know, a lot of things, if these are all gone around me, you know, I might have to go onto a gray tile and then back on here to get this good. The other thing that I didn't mention is you can leapfrog. So, um, let's say... You know, on a turn, gray goes here and picks up this good. Brown can't go here because gray's here, but it could leapfrog over gray to pick up that tile. And if there were two in a row and it was Brown's turn, he could leapfrog over both of them to get 
to green. So that's the only time you can like not go to an adjacent tile is if you if there's a leapfrog situation created. Um, I think those are the main things you would need to know. You don't do anything with the colored cubes once you've used them to build pathways. Uh, so hopefully that helps kind of explain how the game works to some extent.